On a specified Um, but to be very, very basic uh, on something that I would have liked to have done um, would have been join the military. Um, it, it's just something that I feel like I should have done um, looking back on it. Um, I don't think, you know, at the time, it, you're young, you're just not, to me, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't necessarily forced into something. Um, I know some people based on uh, product of their circumstance, they have to, or that's just something that they grew up wanting to do. You know, I had a long line of people in my family uh, going back generations that were in the military. Something I would, I would have liked to have done um, just for my own intense purposes, but that comes with one clause, and I feel like that that clause would be that I would still go down the same path in the sense that um, I would still know you all. You know. Well, that that's kind of the ground rules that I wanted to figure out. Like, oh, knowing what you know, do you know the people that were in your life in the present that you left, and can you then sort of steer yourself? in the direction where you could do what you want, make the change you wanted, but still end up where you want, still wanted to be. <laughs> is it, it but you wouldn't. You wouldn't be. because Why? Well, because you'd be uh, recoursing a ship that didn't happen by circumstance. And, and, like, for instance, the reason that Corey and I are such good friends are because of all the moments that we had and how we met. Right. And if I, like was this weird person that forced myself to meet Corey, I would always be in his mind like, oh, that freak that tried to get a job with us and kept calling me and coming up here and trying to meet, I didn't even know who he was, <laughs> you know. So in my mind, I would know Corey, but it would just be weird to him. You know what I mean? Maybe a, an amended ground rules might be like, you, before you go back, you have to, you have to state or otherwise, you know, commit to the one change you want to make. That wouldn't and then, domino effect. And then you, right, and then you go back and that change, but you don't have all the knowledge that you had from the future. You're just changing that one event. That, that could be that it, too. That fork in the road. That could be it, too, because, but, like, you know, all the little baby small events, and as we say, you know, um, you know, a tree falling in the woods causes a chain reaction of different things that may happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some hardships that Corey might have had in the past led him to meet Danielle. And had that not happened, yeah, they maybe they seemed shitty at the time, and I'm just being hypothetical, but look at the good it came from it. You know yeah. what I mean? And you wouldn't change that for the world. So it wouldn't necessarily be changing that chain of reaction, but right. just something you wanted to do a little bit different. I like it. Thanks. Corey Slesky. You guys went a little deeper than I, I expected. <laughs> I, I would have boarded crab legs <laughs> last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because that's kind of along the lines I was on. Like, <laughs> I'm like, God, go back to. I was wondering why you were smiling the whole time everyone was talking. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I got the seafood chowder. I really wish I got the crab bisque. It was really more of the lines that I was going to spend another five days in Oscoda. <laughs> And that was pretty much as far as I should have bought two pounds of white fish instead of one. Feeling kind of stupid. Good night, everybody. <laughs> that was basically along the lines that I was on. Yeah. yeah. Well, regardless, it's Look, there's no wrong answer. Yeah, there's no good answer, and, bad and answer. We, we, the, the other, the rest of us certainly didn't come up with answers that are what I would turn to be comedy gold. So. <laughs> Heads off to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I would have bought the poop knife sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, you know the time I'm talking. Right. <laughs> Did it not work? Did it not work, Danielle? Right. That is not in my house. <laughs> FYI. Drip. Drip. Fail. Did, did have to get a new plunger, though. <laughs> in her house? Yeah. <laughs> See, if you had the poop knife... Daniel, Might exactly. Not what did you do to your old plunger? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, like, you, dry rotted. wreck a plunger? It dry rotted in the basement. Well, because oh because Danielle takes such eloquently feminine uh, passings that she never has to use it, so it dry rotted next <laughs> to the BMs. <laughs> right. BMs, thank you. Passings? <laughs> I know what to say. I've never in my life heard that term. Passings? No. 
Not once. Oh, guys, I'll be right back. Gotta go make a pass. <laughs> A kidney stone? Or? <laughs> hey, uh, so how's that passing? <laughs> oh, it was quite satisfying. <laughs> Ooh, clean passing. <laughs> this is clean. It was like it fell right out. <laughs> passing of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a toll booth, they would have run right through that. Passed right through it. <laughs> right through it. <laughs> well, uh... Yeah, you're so, not, so you you're never not said where you would. You're not you would off do. the hook. You're not off the hook. Yeah, he was really hoping he was. Good job on looking at his face. Like, I, Damn I, it! Trying to segue in They're there. not gonna drop <laughs> it. Had, you've had several minutes now. Mm. I, I, when I you mentioned going back to an age that I'm like, oh well, like 21 would seem to be the perfect. Okay, well, let's, let's, age. Let's, let's drink let's, more. <laughs> let's let's follow follow that line of thinking then. So you're oh, 21. You just, just turned 21. You're able to go out and drink, and you're not that much of an adult yet, so people don't expect that much of you. Okay, but what are you going back to change? Oh yeah, we didn't. Oh, that's, I wasn't going to change anything, I was just going to go back to being 21. Alright, so the, I, think the, I think the crux of what Nick's <laughs> existential question was, going back to make some sort of an, uh, a change effect in your in your life. Danielle, I don't know what you're laughing about, because Corey 21, <laughs> I knew Corey 21. I can only imagine Corey And I, I was there. You wouldn't be there, though. <laughs> but you know what would be there? Probably. Howells. I would have saved Howells. <laughs> that is the best that's, one. Oh, that's, that's Corey. The, that's the change I would have made. Knowing the date that that spark was going to start in the basement. Yeah. Would have been waiting down guys, the door. Guys, you would have round your way all the way back to, to that date. Would have been sitting right down there. Yep. Fire extinguisher in hand. What, what was her name? Sue? What was the bartender's name? Which one? There was what, a couple. The real old one? There was a couple. What were their names? Um, well, well Dawn, Dawn. Yeah. Yeah. Don Don Don? Don uh, no, no, no. no, I'm Saluda. like yeah. yeah. So like Don talking to her other, you know, co bartenders. Who is that weird guy that keeps coming in here all the time telling us that we need to check the wiring in the basement? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Have you checked it yet? <laughs> I'll pay for it. Guys, seriously, go down there and check it. Okay, Corey, here have another shot. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's what I would go back and do. That's a great one. That's that's a that's a really good one. Hey, man, I'm almost mad at you <laughs> coming up with, <laughs> coming up with the save like that so quickly. You know, I don't. Well, I wouldn't say quickly, but you know, Corey Selesky, man, I don't appreciate that, man, because that means you guys wouldn't be at Uncle Ray's. <laughs> that's true. I now, talked. You. Uh, I, I feel ta pretty confident though that Howells would have suffered some other fate. That would have sent us to set us to race. What like, was what like was Final Destination? Yeah. Something what always. Was, yeah. What was the weird guy's name that used to take all the cans? Ford. <laughs> yes, because I remember I had to drive him home a couple times, <laughs> even though he lived right over the train tracks. That was yes. right behind Howells. What you could that? you could throw a stone to his house. There was something going on one night, and he's like, "Oh, this is a neat place to stay, man. You can come over to my house." I'm like, "No, I forget what was going on. There was something going on. I think I don't know if it was I was." Well, there was no Uber. You know, I was going to no. get like a taxi or some someone left that was supposed to take me home or something like that. And he's like, you go to my house. I do remember the one time that I told him that I think it was because I lost my job at the time. And yeah. I was like, I can't come up here all the time. I have no money. And he's like, well, if you want to come up here, I take these cans every night. And <laughs> I was he's, with you. He, he did. He was like, he's like, you know, you guys are always good customers. So if you help me take them back, you know, you I'll, I'll twenty cents. Yeah, I remember <laughs> it was so dollar eighty for it you. Was, dollar dollar eighty for me. It was really strange, you know. But the coolest thing at Howells was the the can thing, the bottle, yeah, luge that they had. Yeah, you don't do you know about that? Mm -mm. So it Howells Howell, was way before me. Howells had uh, it was very old and it had a basement. They had like PVC pipe that piped right up to the bar. And went down into the basement. Mm -hmm. So anytime that someone was done with a beer, they dropped it, and it oh. went. They, did, they didn't need like some bar back kid running right boxes. Empty stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it uh, serpentined into the basement. Oh, cool. Which is how you know all bars in Europe kind of have the same thing. Oh, really? They actually have where instead of a PVC thing. Like you'll open up like a cooler door, mm -hmm. where like behind the bar, like Don at Uncle Ray's would be pulling out like a bottle of beer. But one of the doors, one of the, door, the, one of the doors is like a 
It's literally like a very narrow set of stone steps that goes down in the basement. Mm. And that's how they get down. Corey, my question was always, where did they go and how did they not break when they got to the bottom? Oh, oh some, sure some of them would. I mean, there, there'd be a decent amount of them that <laughs> would. Sure. That basement was nothing but a sh- shards of broken glass. It actually wasn't too bad for as old as it was. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, where where did they go? In a pile? I mean... No, there was this little like, receptacle. Like a bin. End, okay. End, and then there was a... They would catch them in the bin, and then they would slide out, like, onto this little sheet. So if that, like, it would... If that sheet was full, it'd get backed up, and they'd stay in that bin. So when you'd start taking them off the little sheet at the bottom, more would fall out of the bin. If, if you needed to adjust some of the bottles in the bin, would you use a bin ladle? <laughs> Stop it. Yes, yes. Stop it. It's just a honest-to-God question. Honest-to-God question. <clears throat> well, Joe says he's on the way. Okay. I don't know if that's a Corey on the way or if that's a normal person on the way. Well, I mean, I <laughs> good thing is it's already Joe. Uh, what's the... Oh, any, God, yeah. Any existential feedback from the crowd on Podbean or on Facebook Live? I don't know if you can see that or not. Or just no, my, only con- my one concern with Facebook Live, which I didn't hear from anyone else except for Alina, was that she couldn't hear anything. So I told her, told her to turn the uh, volume up because no one else has said that I'm sure it's coming in low because it's not hooked up to the microphone or anything. It's just through my phone. Oh, yeah. Which is... Oh, right. Up there. Right there. Right there. It's hard to see oh, okay. the traffic lights. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I know the, the volume's probably not the greatest, but if you turn it up on, on your device, you probably hear it. But, um... Yeah, Lena, turn your device up. Damn it, Alina. Well, she was the only one to say that she couldn't <laughs> hear anything, so... It's listening one-on-one. <laughs> Everyone, else Come on. like, Everyone else just, just came in didn't hear anything and left. No, because yeah, people are still sticking around and watching, so... How are you, you doing do pace-wise? You want another shot, or you want, you want to take it easy for a bit? Uh, I'm not going to do more shots. Um, you done more shots? Yeah, okay. just just based on working tomorrow. But I'll, you know, I'll sit and drink, and I'll come raise and drink. That's fine. Okay. Well, uh, one more shot for the road? Yeah, let's do that. Can we do the peanut butter cup? Yes. I was like, right. where is it? Um, thank you. Mm-hmm. One of the things we talked about, let me see your shot goes, was doing a a segment segment called Gentleman's Agreement, where... I'll just have a little splash, maybe. (laughs) 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 Where, uh, you know, we talked in the past about when we do, like, pics of the week. We never take pictures. We do a pic of the week, and, like, Nick will have something about, like, a Netflix show that he's, like... God damn it, Bob! How have you not watched this show yet? And I'm like, ah, I haven't gotten gotten around to it. And I was thinking, like, maybe it'd be better, it'd be better served if we. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of what the last assignment that I gave him, and he's like, yeah, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> he's like, that was horrible. I'm not gonna watch any more of it. Remember, it was oh, uh, the OA. Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know. What do you mean you know? No, I remember he said that. Yeah, you remember that he thought. I that. watched the whole fucking thing. Yeah, it was great. Whoa, 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 now there. whoa, whoa. Careful. Whoa. Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> Sweet Georgia Brown. Anyway, I was thinking, you know, if we just sort of did like a round robin, like, oh, I'll give you one, you give one to Corey, Corey gives one to Daniel, Daniel gives one to me. I don't know if I want to give anyone a round robin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking told about, me last night. I'm not talking about the old double dutch rudder. I'm just talking about a recommendation for... Uh, <laughs> no, I, I oh, thought Daniel oh, was I, putting I, it down. Oh, I, no! No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, now I know what and Corey's going to give know. Danielle. Corey, what was this? <laughs> it's the old double dutch rudder. I don't know the hell that is. Yes. And we can keep it that way. No, we're not. I mean, we're not talking about you know no, just like giving each other the angry dragon. I mean, we're just <laughs> we're really just like homework assignments. Yeah. Movie yeah. recommend, yeah, something to yeah, in a week a- and a down week in which we've got a major holiday and a couple of days off. So I thought it might be a good time. Do you think that we should do a raffle? Uh, explain. Well, a raffle is typically where you sell tickets. <laughs> I'm familiar with a raffle. What oh. you raffle? Explain how that has anything to do with what I just said. Well, I just thought with our 50th, 50th episode, uh-huh. we would have a 50-50 mm-hmm. 
Uh, uh, for the episode. Anyway. We could sell up into that point and then draw. Who are we selling to? People. The people. Which people? We would sell to the people. <laughs> Who? Well, show me the people. Where we, are the people? We would no sell people. to the people. There's no people. And we will announce it on the air. <laughs> Look, what I'm going to do. We could, we could announce we it. We could take the people. Much like, you know, Danielle or my dad's shirt or whatever that nobody got. <laughs> yeah, so our track record is not the greatest there. So I, I, and I our our codfish boil or whatever uh, we're supposed to have. Yeah, we we do have a record for not following through. On but the fifty fifty raffle, except, for, shot, we'll follow except through for shots, in which we're going to do one right now. So please join us. The fifty fifty raffle would be fantastic. Here's <laughs> uh, your eye. Because we could announce it on the podcast. Oh, that's peanut butter cup, all right. Yes, it is. Wow. We could sell them at Uncle Ray's. <coughs> and we'll have, you know, the the ones where people put their phone number on it. So if they don't listen to the podcast, we will get in touch with them. And mm. I feel like you have to be a listener. Y- you know what? We want to drive listeners. So I'm going to say... I think we... I, I th- yeah, I think I know. that they should either be... We should make it part of it. If we're going to do this... Well, then we'll have to specify they, an episode. We're not should, just going to say, oh, just listen right. to every we'll episode. Say episode right. We'll say episode 50. We're going to do a raffle. And you have to be in the Podbean room to win. Okay. Or the Facebook Live. Well, let's pick one. No, let's do, let's do Podbean, because the Facebook Live, I still have to go back through and see how this... I mean, if the audio is terrible, there's no point on it. Okay, so you have I, to be I in the think, Podbean room. Yeah, let's pick one. It seems like currently the easiest way to check, literally, like, who's in there at the moment is Podbean. So let's fi- do that. 50, oh, Daniel's... Taking the notes. Hold on. Now yeah. she's drawing a nice little star. Starburst. You should, that would be fu- fun if Danielle took notes. Wouldn't it be nice? She's like not your fucking waitress. Like a stenographer? Not your fucking no. girlfriend. She's I'm not, not a your secretary. St- not your fucking <laughs> Fuck that. Danielle, what are the minutes from last podcast? Go fuck yourself. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. I really yeah. like this side of Danielle. Actually. Danielle, take a note. <laughs> Um, okay. Wine. Dear Harlan Thrombey. Wine, please. No, he's asking for wine. wine like, in a play. <laughs> so we'll do we'll do the 50-50 for people. 50-50 for the 50th. 50-50 for the 50th, because Bob is 50 in our episodes. Yeah, we, we all got that. Well, some people might not have. Eh, not I have heard good. that you're 50. Yeah. Not 49, not 51. How expensive would it be to have the Schnozcast logo and your face on the ticket? <laughs> <laughs> My face will not be on the ticket. Can we use that one? <laughs> no, you cannot use that one. Oh, we can use that. Uh, you could use you could use Jared Kiso's face. I that like cartoon, that, that cartoon picture that I put on your birthday one. No, you don't have the rights to that, so I. Can <laughs> you don't have the rights to that. Uh, and by the way, neither do I. The next time you show up here, that door will be locked. <laughs> it's okay. I've gotten into locked doors before. Your mic will be cut off. What's? Oh my God! I, I thought Bob said he needed help and fell. <laughs> I will painstakingly. I will painstakingly cut. Bob, are you okay? Cut your Nick chuckle out of every podcast from now on. No. Yep. Little did I know he was just doing a podcast in the basement. All right. Oh, hey guys. Hey. Why well, can't since you I'm here? Do, why can't you just do the number fifty on the fucking logo? I'll even do it for you. No, we're not. We're not. We're just buying. I'll even ra- do it for no, you. No, we're buying random tickets. We're not getting custom tickets. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So random tickets, blue, red, yellow, pink, something. And uh, we'll do the 50-50. I think that'd be a good idea. Because then... Uh, we want to drive people to the podcast. Yeah, and... and uh, fuck. Even and if those it's lazy motherfuckers at Ray's don't listen to us anyway. And listen. this is a good opportunity to capture their ears. And even and everyone loves a good 50-50 raffle. And even if it's fucking 100 bucks, you know, that we split, here's your $50. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's something. Sure. You know, and I think it's... Now, the no overhead. Is, do, you, do you have to... Is there any legal ramifications with us running a 50-50? No. No. No, no. People do it no, at all every, kinds of parties. Every high school game. You, how many games have you been to that? They but do? they're schools. So, so we're Uncle, at a school. Uncle Ray's does it all the time. They yeah. don't. Yeah. All right. They uh, do it at fundraisers all the time, and they don't. Just to make sure we're not going to get any trouble. Yeah. Okay. When they do fundraisers, they do them, and Scott they don't. Scotty said, no. uh, you "Should make it must be present." So would that mean we have to have everyone here in the no. basement? No, 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 no. Present in the pod. I, I, I because a fifty. Well, I don't think that's what he was going for. A fifty-fifty is a form of a fundraiser. But thank you, Scotty Moore. Yeah, and sometimes there don't have to be present win. This one is here's the deal. You gotta you gotta download the Podbean app and be in the room. You gotta subscribe to the show, and you gotta be present in the room to win. I feel like also 
we should not that hard to do. We should all have to buy a ticket. All of us. Why? Just to add money to it. No. Yes. Why am I paying into my own? If it's because of the person that's going to win. Besides, it, it half of it's going to go to us anyhow. Well, what else you Watch could it. do, but, too? But what I'm saying is... is the winner we're, is... No. Bob, Bob no, Rankin. No, no, yeah, no, no. We, yeah, we, we <laughs> no, no. That. You didn't let me finish. I'm you saying we're going to recluse, put your name in. We're gonna recluse ourselves from winning. We're not going to be able to win. But we're going to be able to add money into it. And obviously, since it's 50-50, it's a fundraiser. So half of that money would go into the podcast. So it would be yeah. a forced way of us to put money into the podcast right. to give people more money. And obviously, we're not going to win it. So... I think it's a good idea. Oh, I think you'll well, I think you should also be one of the stipulations that they have to like and subscribe on YouTube. We can do anything we want. Okay, right. so you be well, in charge of that. Well, no, with this, <laughs> when, you, when you post it on Facebook or whatever, well, you have to have like so many stipulations. Just like on Instagram when they do contests, like different pages, there are yeah. like three or four different things you have to do in order to be considered to win whatever they're giving well, away. Well, I, I think that's a great idea, but what about this? What if we reserve that for the next 50-50? That's fine. And we do one in episode 60. Mm-hmm. We'll see how it goes, right? We don't, yeah. Well, what do we got here? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch out for the camera. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. We were just talking about it. How fitting. Oh, man. That, where did you get this? Did you get this made? No, I got it online. You got it online? Oh, so... Don't make you camera. Well, now that you're blocking you, the camera. As we were just talking about this... <laughs> Joe, you didn't hear. So, we said uh, an idea for... Because we're on 47 right now, episode 50. Yeah. Would be a 50-50 raffle because Bob is 50 and our episode would be 50. And by the fiftieth episode, we're gonna draw a ticket uh, for the winner. And then you brought that in, so I think that's a sign. <laughs> like a fifty-fifty for that shirt? Sure, kind of no, yeah. no, no, no. That's Bob shirt. No, that's Bob shirt. Clearly, everyone else would be swimming in that shirt. So after you, after you did the uh, SNL Molly Shannon thing, I'm like, he needs a shirt like that. Yes, I knew I could find one. I did it Thank tonight. You, I did it tonight. Isn't that weird? That is. Well, I started it, but yeah. What would you do? Well, because I was just listening right, to that episode it's while like I was driving around. Match. I went to go get dinner tonight. I was listening to uh, Rick Forty Three. Ow! No. Oh, okay. Corey just bit his toe. <laughs> <laughs> no, because remember I said, you know what episode's coming up? If that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But I remembered what what uh, what she said in the character's name, and the only way we would have done that is because I just listened to that episode. Well, yeah. Cause you didn't, you didn't remember it before then? No. You didn't remember Kick, Stretch, and Kick? No. <laughs> but, yeah, that's 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 awesome. So, oh, I'm so glad someone's taking notes. I'm taking notes. There it is. Good? Okay. So, where welcome, we're welcome Joe Guido, to the so, to the twilight, twilight uh, time of the podcast now. I'm sorry I was late. That's all right. You're just just in time to uh, to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, what did we just? Oh, we were talking about um, Nick's existential question of the week, which was, if you could go back, you might remember this from the last time you're here. If you go back to any age, um, bringing the knowledge that you have today with you at that point and change something about your life, where would, what at what age would you go back to? And what would you change? For an example, Nick, Nick, well, Nick's example was he would go back to when he was 18. Yeah. And he would have joined the military, which is a, a choice that he decided not to make at that time, but he would go back and change that and actually join. Mm. Just to kind of get you Bob, some Bob, kind of idea. Bob's was that he would go back to a time where, you know, he used to hear a lot of finger wagging from his dad that he kind of shrugged off. And he had a sit down with his dad at one point in time and said, you know, pretty much thank you for everything. Um, you were right kind of thing uh, but knowing what he knows now and his dad's no longer with him he would have spent more time with his dad after that yeah from that point forward Daniel, yeah because you're going back based on the ground rules of the question you're going back to that point you're living your life from that point up to where you are now Danielle 
understandably so said she wouldn't do much of a change because of the butterfly effect of things and uh, that she's kind of the best version of herself and she wouldn't want to change that. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. And Corey would go back Corey would go back to save Howells. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Too. It <laughs> I, was knew, a good one. Right. I knew Joe would appreciate that one. <laughs> yeah. To better myself. Well, it could be for any reason. It doesn't have to be. And I can yeah. tell you that I, I thought of a number of different things, but in the, at the end of the day, I ended up going with the one I went to because once I thought of that one, all the other ones seemed very self-serving and selfish. Right. Not that it wouldn't have made it worth doing, but this one was the clear winner. Not the clear that there's anything winner. wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but that's what I decided to do. We did a I, listener join on Podbean real quick. Sorry, Joe. Oh, um, that came in right at the point of you explaining Bob's change. Uh-huh. Yeah. She's like, oh, I didn't expect to uh, come into this podcast and nearly start crying. <laughs> so I <laughs> explained to her, that, no, it's it's a funny podcast. Oh, did she start crying? Yeah, and that she said she was going to start crying here. You the know story. what? That, that's a great that's a great point. I, I'm not sure who the listener is or what their what the name is in the room, but but yeah, this this has been a far more introspective reflective podcast and less less with the ch- with the yucks the yucks were earlier when i couldn't <laughs> read <laughs> that's true skizmork skizmork that wasn't today <laughs> no last but it, time but it but it's now isn't it really every day now that <laughs> yes, basically. from that point forward pretty much yeah so i i appreciate that thank you very much uh i i felt the same way when i was thinking about it i i think more importantly a lot of people can relate to to what you said <coughs> people have oh. that moment that they wish they could go back to, you know, specifically for someone that's no longer here. Yeah, and so and and you know what? Uh, it, at the end of the day, uh, I did spend. It's not like I didn't spend time with him. Sure. And I was I was there when he passed, and and you know, there's. I wasn't going to change. You know, he he died of a couple of different things, but there wasn't anything I was going to change about that. <laughs> but it, given the ground rules of the. Of the of the challenge and knowing what we were going to have to sort of go, what we we're going to get to go back and do I thought yeah I, I I can remember there being times where I'm like oh I didn't have anything to do that weekend and the kids were going to Camp Dearborn or something and I opted to go out with my buddies when I clearly could have been you know spending time with my dad oh 100% you know I mean? but you just don't know because right. that was like you know 15 years before he passed away and uh, how could you know <coughs> <coughs> but you know th- there, there's I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who would have much more dire like oh my god if I could go back and do this then someone would have lived or yeah. uh, or my life would have turned out my, would probably have like with 95% sh- certainty turned out to be way better than it is now or you know, uh, I, the one that got away, the the girlfriend or boyfriend that you know was the love of my life at the time, and I made a mistake. Or there's probably tons of people like that. This was not that. This was more like, oh, that's the thing I would go back and change because it would bring me pleasure to do. Not that it would change a whole lot of anything. But what are your thoughts, Joe? Big shoes you, to yeah, fill, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is yeah. <laughs> well, back to me. Okay. Yeah, back to you. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, but but go ahead. What do you what do you what do you think about that, Joe? I'd go back to high school, even though I did not like high school. I'd go back to high school, put in a little more effort, probably go to college. I was all set to go to Ferris State. Never went. It's not too late, man. No, I know it's not too late, but I mean, my dad always has his businesses that he needed help running. Right. Uh, Bellasinos, I was still in high school. Jets now. Yeah. And because they don't know the operations of the, any of those stores, and I do, I kind of feel like they need me to keep them going, which I don't mind doing. And But is that well, what you want? No, the only thing I would have done is in high school, I would have concentrated a little bit more on music, maybe went to college for some sort of music, because I, I, I never gave a shit about sports. I played sports, but I didn't care about them. Thank you. I would have rather had gotten but, into music. But you strike me as, like, as a kid who was good at sports. I was good, good at sports. Pretty yeah. pretty, pretty good coordination sure. and uh, natural athletic ability. But like me and my brother, the first time, the first set of drums that I bought, 
I yeah. bought them from some guy on eBay. They shipped them to my house in a box. Never touched a set of drums. Put them all together. Tuned them pretty good. And then started playing simple 4-4 four, four riffs. Mm -hmm. So I, I had a knack on how to do it. And now I'm much better because I've practiced and I've right. you know, m learned rudiments and all that. Same thing with my brother. He didn't start playing guitar until he was like 21. I had a guitar. And he came in, he says, can I borrow your guitar? I said, go for it, I don't play it. And he's playing in a band now, yeah. two bands down yeah. in Florida. Recorded albums and all that Yeah, kind of I would have rather wanted to get away from <clears throat> the family business and go do something like what my brother does. Right. He, make, he makes a living, he does 3D artists or 3D graphics for places and yeah. renderings and all that. Blue Rock, right? Yeah. yeah. But I, I think... Would, I think it's it's in your guys' blood. I mean, I think you guys have the, the music gene. You know what I we mean? We do, absolutely. And, and I think that um, probably what what you're saying is absolutely true, is that I think you guys um, really are like, uh, let's say, a hot air balloon that's tied down. You know, you have many more, you, you have much more capability if you could have explored that avenue. You know right. what I mean? Uh, just to to fly free, mm -hmm. and, and I think you guys, especially and Mike's, obviously doing it too. But but I get what you're saying. You know, and if he came back up here, him and I could get something going, no problem, because we've always played well together. Yeah, but you have to think about you, and, and I would say to you, I'm not sure how many years you've given to your parents, or to what you think that they needed Lots. from you. Yeah. But it's it's never too late to to say, you know, what do I need? Oh, I know. <coughs> what did I give up that, that maybe it's not too late that Daddy. I've always wanted to do? Whoa. Because at some day, at some point, it will be too late for you to do it. Right. And before that day comes, I guess I would say to you, like, yeah, this is a great e existential question that a, a lot of great, a, a lot of great content has come from. A lot of great conversation. We have made somebody cry. No, she didn't. She thought about it. No, oh, goddamn. <laughs> You're, but you might actually get someone to cry. Yeah, yeah. that's not really okay. our goal. <laughs> All right, well, me. Let me keep going. Yeah, really. Yeah. Why? This is terrible. That's what's terrible. What's terrible? Continue on the time. Continue on. The time. Continue no, on with your terrible. It's, no, it's, lineup. The, it's the timing of it. Oh Jesus. Well, uh, you know, you know, I would, I would always have loved and still want to mm -hmm. be able to make a living in Northern Michigan or the UP. And I've looked into it. You, it's hard to make a living up there. Yeah. Because I like it up there. Yeah. I've I got, enjoy that. Uh, I've got a that. friend who has tried to do that for a long time, and right. no luck. Yeah. My, my, my buddy Matt, um, it's kind of funny. We, uh, we have property up very close to Alpena. And, uh, do we, you? Yeah. Yeah. And we also have property up in Marquette. And we took him up there one time, like high school time. And he was like, it, it was like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. He was so awestruck that after he graduated, he loved the wilderness so much after, Sorry. That's okay. re really after that experience, that he capitalized on what, exactly what you're saying and now lives in Alaska. Yeah. Works for the Alaskan government, uh, f salmon fishes and, and goes goes and shoots moose and shoots moose shoots moose Mises? defenseless sorry, Mises? Mises? shoots Mises to pieces but <laughs> but that was not, he had that itch you know what I mean the moose he, itch? he loved that idea you know he loved the idea of being out in the wilderness being out there and and he started a family he lives in literally like a, a very 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 nice log cabin works for the Alaskan government and the pictures he posts are like Oh Amazing. my God, man! Yeah, you know mountains in the background and all kinds of stuff. So, I get it. That's a great one, Joe. Yeah. All right, let's uh, bring it close then to episode forty-seven. Sounds like a plan. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, everyone on Podbean. Thank you, everyone on Facebook Live. And if you're listening to us after the fact, thank you very much for listening and hopefully subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to us yet. Please do so on the on the platform of your choice. If you haven't rated us and reviewed us yet, please take take a second to do that. 
and uh, and we're asking you as a favor too to tell one friend, one family member, one person that's close to you who you think might enjoy this podcast. Tell us about us. Recommend them to us. Send send, us, send them the link for the podcast, and uh, and who knows, maybe they, they they might really enjoy it. So and and for the love of God, if you've never <laughs> if you've never experienced us. Um, in our full audio quality that that we try and project please go to some kind of podcast app and yeah. Spotify or iTunes if you're if you're only coming into the live version of uh, of Podbean or you're only coming into the Facebook live right listen to it on your, on your laptop or your iPad or yeah, something yeah try, try just try us out try us out on a Podbean app because the quality is going to be much better the the when you see us with all these mics and bells and whistles, that's that's being piped into the audio content app. That's not something that you're going to recognize or be able to to distinguish from from just listening to our Facebook Live or something. So so at least try that. And also, my last thing, and I'm done, um, <laughs> is, is I'm not doing Are this to upset Corey. Is, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Is that it's upset anyway. it, it is a shortened cast tonight, and yep. and I appreciate that because a lot of the reason was based around my schedule because I had to work this weekend, but we still wanted to turn out a product, mm -hmm. so we appreciate that. But we're normally longer than this, so yeah. Corey, I will say, uh, Mary, uh, Haley, and uh, George that we just left. Thanks for joining. Sorry it was so late. Um, hope we catch you guys on the next one. Because uh, we're about to wrap this up. Good night. Yeah. I got nothing. <laughs> I Joe? gotta pee. Hurry it up. Thanks for my uh, <laughs> five minutes of mic time. Appreciate it. We appreciate it, sir. Thanks, everybody. Right, Tune in again work. next time. We'll see, work, we'll see you soon. Take Bye. Care. Good night.